Welcome to the We Tap In interview segment. My name is Nadia Brinker. Now in studio we have from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Colin Minka Peters, the songwriter for Vinci Power. And when the knock is tumbling down, we're gonna be together. Give me the Vinci Power. Now this song was written after the last Sufraya volcano erupted and rocked the people of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines this year. Colin, Maker Peters, how are you? Brilliant. Yes. So ah, cool. Great. Now tell me a bit about the experience of going through that volcano. Well, I will just say to be short, devastation, total devastation. You know, I, I live um, just nine miles away from the mainland on an island called Beckwith. That is part of the Grenadines, of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And um, we got a lot of ashes over here. It was pretty serious. The place was pretty dark. But when we started looking on the internet to see what was going on over in the mainland, but well, we could see it from where we are too. But when we look at what was going on over here, it was a totally different thing. That was really serious. One particular day, it was very, it, it became very dark in the middle of the day. And that, Goes to show how how much the volcano is really behaving bad. Any day now, she's gonna blow. No time for tarrying. We've got to go. So tell me a bit about how is it now in Saint Vincent and the Grenadines? A bit of time has passed. How are the people? Well, I will say um a lot of a lot of um the. the, the the drama and so on has calmed down a lot. Um, there are people still in shelters, um, quite a few places, yeah. and there are still concerns at the shelters. We could we could hear people um, voicing their concerns on Facebook or, or, or whatever. And um, but a lot has changed, and I think the country is now starting to rebuild and recover from the disaster. Towns are like rebuilding schools and. Yeah. and put in um, new housing for people that cannot return to um, where they were when the volcano erupted. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're happy to hear that St. Vincent is rebuilding, but we still cannot forget about the people you know, that are still going through it. So tell me a bit about the inspiration behind the song Vinci Power. Yeah, well, as we say, we was looking at a lot of disaster. We could see what was going on, and the, the first instinct was to find something or find some way to help the situation because everybody was going out to help and we, we thought that um, a song a little bit down the road would have been very helpful in terms of um, spreading awareness and consciousness yeah. to people outside to so that they know what has happened in St. Vincent so they could um, pay attention and maybe lend some support and so on. So. This is, that was the real inspiration behind the song. It, it was an arm out to help, really. Gather up the children, run like the raging river, panic in the red zone, I gotta take a ride on the corner. Yeah. And, you know, this is something that is, it just, it, it affects all of us, you know? Because we go yeah. through, of course, we had a volcano, we go through storm, we can even hear Thunder now here in Barbados. So this is something that impacts all of us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so going forward, um, what else can be done to help St. Vincent? Well, for me, that's a big question. Um, well, first of all, I, I think that um, the infrastructure, whatever is infrastructure, needs to be replaced so that people will start feeling a little bit more comfortable again. And then from the you, you will find other challenges that you have to um, confront, like, you know, um, continuing the schooling. Everything is rearranged and relocated in different areas now, so there are going to be challenges. So I hope that um, government yeah. could help out um, as much as possible, like uh, um, really keeping these people. Because they're so, um, it's not nice when you are taken out of your, your comfort zone like that and, and put in a place that you, you're not really sure what's going to happen. So yeah. we're hoping the best for the people still. Yeah. So tell me a bit more about the song Venti Power. You have about 13 artists on it. Tell me how did you, you know, come up with the idea, even for the video. So 
So how did you yeah. choose these artists and how did you come up with the idea for the video? Yes, well, uh, I know a lot of people that's involved in the music um, business in, in, in Vinci and the mainland because I've been doing this for a while. So I've been some good friends with people, a lot of them. And um, I thought it would be um, an easy thing for me to do. And it was, it, it was easy for me to do. So um, we just got together and just called up some people, set up something on Facebook so everybody could go in and check out what's going on and so on. And people start picking different parts of the song that they like. And eventually we just got it under control, you know, because it's going to be a little back and forth. But yeah, um, so it's, it was not a difficult task at all for me. And the people was really willing and happy yeah. to be a part because they understood exactly where we were coming from, you know. So I got to make it over the river I saw the day turn black It's like a nightmare Over and over I got to keep my mind intact Hey royal soldiers Pick up your portion Got to, got to get this love thing in motion We're all in support of Vinci Power My Caribbean people Please like and share this song. This is an important song to the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and to all of us. Also, big up to all the artists on this song. We want to say thank you. We want to say we love you, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Colin, thank you for being on We Tap It. Thank you so much for having me. Bless and love. And when the knock is tumbling down, we're gonna be together. Give me the Vinci power.